Here at Blue Moon Rising, we have been working to become a Mayo Certified Green Center. Along the way, we have been developing some wonderful new relationships with people in our community who understand the importance of integrated educational systems. We met Rebecca at the Appalachian Lab in Frostburg. She told us about the wonderful work she had been doing with the environmental science class at Northern High School, working in collaboration with many organizations and local farmers to restore the habitat and brook trout populations of a few streams near the high school. This weekend, our team attended a celebration of the project and captured some great video of what this teacher and her outstanding students have been up to. I am Rebecca Kenyon Sisler and I teach environmental science at Northern High School. The Cove Run Restoration Project is focusing on restoring and maintaining the brook trout population that's found in the stream. Brook trout are native species to Maryland and they are sensitive to um, water quality issues, so we are trying to improve the water quality in Cove Run. We are focusing on the riparian zone, which is the land around the stream. So we have put in fencing to keep livestock from being able to enter the stream. Students have planted trees to shade the stream and improve water quality. And they've also put in um, bluebird boxes to encourage wildlife to return to the area. I am Lydia Sisler. I'm Dallas Hetrick, and we are doing the water quality test here. So we are testing the temperature, turbidity, and pH, and pH of the water. Um, okay. Why is this project important? It is important because brook trout populations throughout the state of Maryland have decreased greatly, and here in Garrett County is one of the few places where they're still at, and we're trying to get that so that it's healthier for them. So okay. They can stay. And this is a really great stream for them um, because it feeds into Cove Run and once we get this one up to par where it should be with temperature and nutrient levels, it feeds down into Cove Run and it helps Cove Run build a greater population as well. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, find a good rocky area because that's where crayfish, stoneflies, mayflies like to go. Caddisflies or stoneflies like to build their homes on the bottom of rocks and stuff. I'm trying to see if you can find a good one with uh, things underneath it here. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put the kick seam down. One person's going to start kicking up all of the rocks they can to try and loosen up anything underneath the rocks. Make sure this stays down to catch whatever we're getting here. Here's a good crayfish right here. If I can get him. Right here's a good crayfish. Alright. We'll set him there because we don't have well, we'll probably. Yeah, you these will. are all indicator it's... species. The more you find, the better the stream quality. Yeah. Mayflies tell us that there's really, really good stream quality there if you start finding a bunch of those. Especially if you find fish. Um, the more you find the better. We're trying to uh, plant the trees next to the stream to raise dissolved oxygen levels. Streams that have higher dissolved oxygen levels are cooler because the oxygen holds in the stream better. And so these trees will help prevent or help prevent the sun from hitting the uh, stream and cool down the stream. By improving the quality of this stream, I think this can be sort of a model for all other uh, water pro restoration projects. And especially for other farmers. Because uh -huh. they see this happening and they're like, oh, it's that easy, like, people will come in and volunteer to do this. Like, people don't realize that they have these resources available. Alright, my name is Lake Sherrard and I was just, uh, a student in Mrs. Kenyon Sisler's AP Environmental Science class this year. And out here we just did lots of uh, tree planting, lots of soil tests, just to get a feel for all the uh, different macro invertebrates living in the stream because they can tell you a lot of how healthy it is. And really from that, that's how we can determine what we need to do to get, to get the um, <laughs> brook trout back in here and get them living. And. Um, <laughs> Uh, my cameraman has a horse on him right now. So. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. 